guys, it's CJ over at AirDog. Today we're going to be showcasing our sister company, Diesel RX, one bolt feet and return style sump. Uh, just a quick thing on Diesel RX, we manufacture a few things to use in conjunction with your AirDog system. Uh, sump, as well as a diaphragm fuel pressure regulator, our boost compensation kit that you can use with your 5Gs, as well as your Raptor 4Gs. Uh, fuel pressure splices, just a few small accessories you can use in conjunction with your AirDog system. Uh, we're going to be installing this today on a 2006 Dodge 2500. We'll go ahead and open this package up for you. Um, once you open it up, it's all going to be sealed in one nice bag for you. You're going to have your installation manual. Um, in protective wrapping will be the sump bowl and sandwich plate itself. Um, it comes with all needed fittings for the installation as a dual, also a dual o-ring seal. Um, one thing to note when you guys install this system um, is you will have to source your own two inch hole saw. Uh, so have that handy uh, before the installation. To give you a better look here, we went ahead and removed the packaging. Um, this is all gonna be a nice aluminum material here to anodize black for you know corrosion resistance. Um, like I said, this is gonna be a feed and return style sump. Um, so it's nice on a lot of your applications, like on your Dodges, where you'd have to do like a fuel module upgrade. With this, there'll be no need. Uh, the AirDog wiring harness disables power to the factory pump. You already have your return port, so no need to do anything there, um, as well as your suction, so you won't have to do that fuel module upgrade again. So um, if a customer is, you know, hesitant on doing that, or, you know, you guys want to sump, this is a good time for that. Um, again, this is a one bolt design. Uh, so you're going to have one single bolt with a seal on it. Um, that will go to your sandwich plate. This is also doweled, so you can't mess this up. It can only go on one way when you install that in the truck. It also makes it nice and easy to locate it, because uh, with the design of this, you will not have to actually drop the tank. You'll key this piece up into the tank and roll it, and we'll show you this when we're installing it, so you don't have to drop the tank, so the dowel will allow you to line it up. Again, dual O-ring seal, so no worries of any leaking, anything like that. Um, it comes with dash eight, uh, like JIC style fittings, um, cause these are O-ring boss fittings. So you'll be able to thread this directly in. This is your adapter fitting to a dash eight. Um, if you are installing a 5G 220, you will use your included uh, dash 10 fittings in that kit. Um, but it'll give you dash eight for all your other applications as well as a nice O-ring boss uh, plug. So if you only want to use this as a feed sump, no problem. Um, you already have a filler neck tee or something like that um, and you want to just use it for only the feed you can thread this plug in there seal it up to where it's only a feed style sump for you um, just a nice uh, budget friendly sump probably one of the cheapest on the market um, so we'll go ahead and get you into the shop we'll get the truck on the lift and we'll get it installed Now we have the truck up in the air. We're gonna go ahead and take our two inch hole saw again. Um, we're gonna take the pilot bit of this and poke a small hole in the bottom of the tank and begin to drain it. Alrighty, now that we've drained all the fuel out of this tank using the small pilot hole in your drill saw, we're gonna go ahead uh, and drill the rest of the way through with our two inch hole saw. So this may be a little tough to film, we'll do our best. Um, but now that the hole is drilled, you'll key the sump piece up in like this and you will roll it around. Um, you're going to want these grooves facing towards the bottom of the sump because this will help feed extra fuel even on the sides. Um, again, remember that alignment down. So once we get it up in there, we'll actually put the sump bolt and spin it the direction we need for our fuel lines. So on this particular truck, um, I had to actually have one of our guys help me push the module up. I put it directly underneath the module because it has these little baffles here. So even when the tank, the fuel sloshes, it'll help hold the fuel around the sump itself. So now we're gonna go ahead and get our O-rings on the sump bowl. We'll key to that alignment down to where we can face it where we need it, and we'll start the bowl. Um, also remember your ceiling washer on the bowl. So on this particular truck, we're gonna have to make a new suction line from the air dog. So we kinda got a new piece routed up in here. This is gonna be the feed to help figure out how we wanna align it. Um, we want them to both run up nice and clean down the side of the frame. So it's looking like just a little bit crooked facing towards the driver's side of the truck is what we're looking for. So we'll go ahead and get this tightened up. You'll notice the sump will kind of pop into the hole because there's a raised ledge to help you make sure you're centered. So those dual O-rings get a good seal. So we'll go ahead and tighten this up. Then we'll just have to finish up the lines and we're basically done. 
Now we're gonna use our supplied ORB to AN adapter fitting. Since we're doing the feed, we'll thread it. These are also labeled, if you know. Um, we'll thread it into the feed. Use our 7 8 wrench to tighten that up. Um, and this will better help us determine the length that we need to make this hose. So this part might vary a little bit depending on which pump you're installing. On this particular truck, it was a 165 4G. Uh, so it has a small return fitting. So we had to assemble a new return line because this is a feed and return sump. So I went ahead and just off camera pressed in a 3 8 90, uh, quick connecting to a fresh uh, section of hose so we can make the new return line. Um, we're just running it up nice, clean routing. We're gonna zip tie it directly to the out, or I'm sorry, the suction line. Um, we'll determine the length here and get this cut and pressed on. So we went ahead, as you saw, got this return line tightened up. Um, we went ahead and zip tied these hoses up nice, followed the same radius all the way around, nice and clean. Uh, we're gonna wipe down the sump, verify we have no leaks. Uh, we got to prime the air dog as well. We went ahead and threw a new set of filters on his pump for him, as you guys saw. Um, so we'll get some fuel in this thing and get it started. So as you saw on camera, we went ahead and primed the fuel system. Uh, went on a test drive, made sure everything was fine. Uh, so in the wise words of Larson Miller, we're going to send him on his way. <laughs> 